Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, let's talk about it. Let's talk about a money showcase fight. A uh, fight that had to be made because of the names involved. British Boxing's definitely excited. You know, it's, it's going to be an interesting fight. There's history, there's some bad blood, family-wise, you know, there's a rivalry here, and it's just a fight for bragging rights, for money, a little glory, but this fight should definitely have a clear-cut winner here, from the get-go, from the jump, even though there's going to be a catch weight might even be a rehydration clause involved but i really don't think that's going to affect eubank jr at all in this fight i think the contracted weight is going to be 157 pounds eubank has campaigned at super middleweight he is 32 years old going on 33 so the catch weight does make the fight a little more interesting does give connor ben a better chance of winning the fight at least in, his, in Eubank's career, he's weighed a little under 160, even fought as low as 158 in one of his fights. So it's definitely going to be a challenge for Eubank at this age to drain himself all the way to 157. But he's a very dedicated guy, works hard in the gym, always comes into his fights in great shape. So, I don't expect the 157 catch weight to be too much of a factor. I still think Eubank is fresh at 32. I still, he's, he's not old, at least not yet. He's still in his prime. He still has a lot left. He still has a good engine. And the only concern, though, is his killer instinct is not what it once was. I think the Eubank of five years ago would have stopped Liam Williams like when he had him in trouble in the early going, ended up going the distance. Eubank is trying to box more, trying to utilize more of a jab. I, just, I don't feel the, the Roy Jones hiring has been all that good for him. I just don't think that's his best style to, you know, to move around more and use his jab more. I think he's at his best when he's aggressive, like he showed in, in a lot of his fights. Like Abraham, he was aggressive. Like Blackwell, um, what he did to Yildrum, I think that's when he's at his best. Like what he did to James DeGale. He should have stopped DeGale too. He shouldn't have went the distance with him. But yeah, this is a fight between a middleweight and a welterweight. One guy is more proven. He's actually challenged for world titles. I think he has more ability. He's actually been in there with some good competition has had some setbacks but he's still a legitimate contender in the middleweight division you bank i mean uh ben on the other hand he's definitely still a project but this opportunity came along and it was a perfect opportunity for ben i mean there's really not many openings at welterweight not for significant uh prizes He'll have to get through a murderer's role competition just to get a world title shot. And he's not going to be getting any career-defining or career-changing type paydays. So, I understand why Matchroom took this fight. Because Ben won't beat any of the top welters. At least not right now. He will get beat up by Virgil. Boots Ennis will beat him up. I'm not even sure if Ben could beat uh, inactive Thurman. But this is a perfect opportunity for Ben for some bragging rights, a big fight, and a good opportunity to pull off an upset, which will, he'll have to do against a much bigger guy. He's going to be a significant size disadvantage here, three inches in height. There's a, it's a perfect opportunity for Eubank to display his reach advantage. He should definitely use his advantages early on, but once... 
the fight starts getting into middle or late rounds, he should start using his physicality and start beating up the much smaller Ben. You know, Ben, I think it's a huge risk if you're going to be uh, placing any money on Ben. He's fought nothing but inactive, uh, never will be used at well to wait. He's been feasting on baited guys, inactive guys. He hasn't even beaten a legitimate contender at welterweight. So, you really gonna lay any money on him to fight and beat a legitimate middleweight contender at a catchweight? Even though the catchweight, he's a younger, a little bit fresher. He's shown more firepower in his, in his recent fights in terms of knockout wins. But Eubanks is the much bigger, stronger guy here. The more experienced guy. The guy I feel with better ability and the more proven... The more proven accolades so far. But it will be an interesting fight. There will be a lot of buzz. You know, there's big names in British boxing. We're definitely going to tune in. But this almost feels like a cash-out fight. It kind of does. But it, it was a risk worth taking. Eubank has been trying to change his style. Maybe it's not the most ideal for him. He'll be fighting at a catch weight. He's seven years older, I believe. But he's fighting a... Eubank that's still in his prime, still a middleweight contender, and still the more proven guy here, and he is coming into this fight with momentum, but so is Conor Ben, so I know I'm placing all my money on, I'm hoping I can get better odds when the fight first appeared, uh, Eubank was only a minus 165, that was the range I was looking for, but now the line has jumped, everyone's putting money on Eubank, rightfully so. I really don't feel there's only one winner in this fight. Eubank, you know, he's, him and his handlers, they're being smart, man. You know, they're taking money domestic dust-ups like the Liam Williams, like the James DeGales, and now they're going to try to take advantage of this payday and fight an unproven welterweight at a catch weight for, for a lot of money. So it's, it's definitely a smart move, the best fight for Eubank at this time. It's even the the best fight for Ben because there's no other bigger fight out there at this moment. It'll be a huge risk to go up against Virgil and boots for less money and get and most likely to get beat. So he might as well take might as well take this chance. You know, Eubank, he is what he is, looking for money fights domestically. He was trying to fight Kel Brook, but now he settled for Connor Ben and I expect a another Eubank victory in the family tradition. No, ben, the Ben family has yet to record a victory in this rivalry series. Will that change come October 8th? I doubt it. I don't see it. I think Eubank's going to be too big, too strong, too fresh, too physical, and uh, too big of a puncher for Conor Ben to handle. But, you know, Ben, he doesn't have a great jab. Neither does Eubank. Ben likes to come forward, be aggressive, jump in with big punches. So I expect this fight not to go to distance. But we'll see. Interesting fight. We'll definitely be tuning in. But my money is going on uh, Chris Eubank all day, every day. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Who you got in this matchup? This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.